from Mahat Kanat Intisan is a senior Thai missionary in the United States who resides at Wat Thai, B.C. in Silver Spring. He was born in Thailand and trained as a monk from his youth. He spent a number of years studying Vipassana under various forest meditation masters. He earned his bachelor's from Mahatula Longhorn University, Buddhist University, and his first master's degree in education from Century University in New Mexico in the United States. He earned two additional master's degrees, one in Great Britain and one in Russia. He received his PhD in Buddhist studies from Magadhi University in India in 2003. He studied and uh, performed uh, monastic duties in various different countries. In fact, he's traveled uh, to over 15 different countries uh, in uh, teaching and lecturing about the Dharma. He has attended the World Parliament of Religions and he's studied a wide variety of Buddhist traditions. He's the author of more than 10 books about Buddhism, including history, scripture, and archaeology, a brief study regarding some ancient Buddhist sites. So let's welcome Dr. Uh, Tanat uh, today to uh, our lecture about uh, compassion in the practice of the Theravada Thai tradition. I'm very happy to meet all of you today that we have special program for meditation. The term of meditation, you may know about that very clearly. But uh, today we have three different tradition, but not different in meaning. I think the meaning is the same. The meditation in Buddhism is the my culture to cultivate the mind, to purify the mind. So the technique that Buddha have taught, and he found the, the technique 2,500 years ago, is not changed, still active now. And everybody seek the peace of mind and try to use this technique I would like to share with you today about uh, the my culture and uh, the meaning of meditation in our tradition, especially in Theravada tradition. I am a Theravada monk from Thailand. I was ordained when a small, small kid. <laughs> My parents sent me to the monastery when I was 12 years old, training for two years and put into the yellow robe when I was 14 years old. And my teacher put me in the cave <laughs> in, the, in the forest. This is our tradition. There are two kinds of monks in Thailand, the forest monks and the city monks. Unfortunately, I was in the, in the forest, in the deep forest. Yeah, my teacher tried to, to train with the, the tiger, with the snakes, with the <laughs> wild animals. Why he did that? Because of, you know, he compared with gilesa or mental defilement, it's like a tiger. If you're not concentrated your mind, or don't cultivate your mindfulness, so you will be the, <laughs> the animal, the wild animal's uh, meat at <laughs> that time. So when you sit in meditation to cultivate mindfulness, be alert all the time, be aware all the time. If you fall asleep, that means you lose your mindfulness, and one day you will die. So train in the, in the jungle, in the forest, it's just the, to, to train with the, the real situation. This is the, our tradition or the <clears throat> practice in the forest. And one thing my teacher taught me that we have no weapon. We have no any to protect ourselves. Uh, the, the, the man cannot carry guns, cannot carry swords or knives or anything that to fight back. 
the animals. But you have to cut with metta, loving kindness, in your mind, in your heart. And also today I picked the sutra from the Tipitaka <clears throat> that we call Metta Sutra. Like in uh, Pali text, Pali uh, version. In Sutta Nipata, that uh, one of the sutra in uh, the books in original Pali, Yuraka uh, Yuraka Wak in Kutaka Nikaya, this is the original Pali text that we have to recite every day. I have to recite in my temple every day. Uh, to, uh, in the morning, 6 o'clock. In the evening, 6 o'clock. Karaniya Metta Sur. So I will start chanting in Pali. In According to our tradition, our teaching, we start with Namo first. That's the pay homage to the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha first. Namo Tassa Ampakawato Arahato Sampa Sampo Tassa Namo Tassa Pakawato Arahato Sama Sampo Tassa Namo Tassa Pakawato Arahato Sama Sampo Tassa Karane Yamata Kusale Nayantang Santang Patang Apisame Jasako Ucho Jasu Ucho Jasu Ajoin Jasamutu Anatimani Santo Tako Jasu Paroja Apakit Jorja San Lahuka Wotim Santin Rio and Janipa Goja Apakapo Guresu Ananukito Najakutang so my jare kin jiye na win yo pare upawata yong sukino wan ke mino hon to sape sata pawan to sukita tan ye ke tipana puta tita sahawata warawa anawase san tika wa ye mahanda wa matimara Titta wa ye ja titta ye ja tu re wa san ti awi tu re Pu ta wa san pa ve si wa sa pe sa ta pa wan tu su ki Ta ta na pa ro pa rang ni ku pe ta na ti man ye ta ka ta ji nang kin ji pa ya ro sa na Pati ka san ya nan ya man ya sa tu ka mit cha ya ma ta ya tha ni yang Puttang a yu sa e ka putta manura ke e vam pi sa pa pu te su ma na sam pa wa ye a parimahanang Number 150, this is the short, every time when we start meditation, then we recite this sutra. Metan jasaparo kasaming mana sampawaye aparimanang utang ato jatiriyan ja asampadang awerang asapatang titan jarang nisin nowa saya nowa yawata sawikata minto etang sating atitaya brahma metang viharang Itama ho tit tin ja anupakam masila wa tat sane na sampano ka me su vinaya ke tang na hi cha tu ka pasayang punare ti iti. This is the Pali original in Metta Sutta. So for the translation, Okay, please turn to the page number one, uh, <clears throat> the translate of this sutra. He who is skilled in welfare, who wishes to attain that calm state, nipana, 
should act as he should be able upright perfectly upright of noble speech gentle and humble contented easily supported with few duties of light livelihood with sense calmed discreet not imprudent not greedily attached to families he should not pursue the slightest things for which otherwise men might censure him. May all beings be happy and secure. May their hearts be wholesome. Wherever living beings there be, feeble, so strong, tall, short, medium, short, small, or large, without exception, seen or unseen, those dwelling far or near, those who are born or those who are to be born, may all beings be happy. Let none deceive on others, not despise any person whatsoever in any place. Let him not wish any harm to another outside anger or ill will. That as mother would protect her only child at the risk of her own life, even so, let him cultivate boundless heart towards all beings. Let his thoughts of boundless love beware the, world, the whole world above, below, and across without any obstruction, without any hatred, without any enmity. Whether he stands, walks, sits, or lies down, as long as he is awake, he should develop this mindfulness this they say in this noblest living here, not falling into wrong views, being virtuous and endowed with insight. By discarding the attachment to sense desire, never again is he reborn. It's a translation of uh, Metta Sutta. So let me explain about the meaning of Metta Sutra in uh, the text and uh, in the translation. 